Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vital Vlog. Today, thanks to a mystery benefactor, we actually have something I thought I was going to miss, and that is the self-titled demo slash EP from Vengeance Horde. Stitch in Black Hand. Two tracks of total barbaric black death metal. Just look at that. Oh my god. Vengeance Horde does not play games, takes no prisoners, and was composed and performed by JK, and that is not Justin Broderick. Recorded and per recorded and mixed by Steve Roach at permanent hearing damage. So, hell yeah. Just look at that weapon. And this is some serious savage, savage shit. I love this stuff. It's like black witchery legit on steroids. It's gnarly. Kind of like Bestial Warlust, I would say. But, like, Americanized a little bit, if that makes sense. Like, it has this just... Really? I don't know, like... With tracks like Iron and Steel, Horn Command, it's just... I don't know. There's something about the Inferno of, of uh, the United States that just creates... Very vicious black death metal. And this is just like legit barbaric. And I'm not using that as like a buzzword or slang term. It legit sounds like savage as fuck. It's awesome. Like, I love this shit. Yes! Vengeance Horde. These two tracks are amazing. I don't know if this is a promo, demo. I don't know what they consider this besides bad ass. I really wish I had the uh, new Left Cross promo. I'm trying, folks. But... For right now, Stitch and Black Hand once more absolutely kills it. This time in the form of Vengeance Horde. 100% essential 2022 listening here. And the thing is, it's like very memorable. I've listened to it like legit probably 14 times like on my stereo. And it just keeps getting better and better. Like, I keep hearing, like, different riffs and stuff. And, like, just, it's so gnarly. Like, the guitar work is just fantastic. Everything about this rules. The drumming, it, it's just, hell yeah. Like, here's a great companion. If you're really looking for a good time, oh yeah, get into Tempter's Sacrament with uh, Temptation Steel Scourge on Invictus, and then go listen to some Vengeance Horde, or start with Vengeance Horde and end with Tempter's Sacrament. 
You'll have a good time no matter what. And your hair might grow six inches. You never know. But definitely killer, killer shit here. Although it's just two tracks, that says it all. And that cover is just amazing. Also, did I mention it's on Stygian Black Hand, who, in my opinion, are definitely in my top three favorite labels. Like, if A Cursed Womb could be on any label, it would be Stygian Black Hand. Like, with a bullet, honestly. But, seriously, if you haven't heard Vengeance Horde yet, links will be in the video description. You will probably love this if you're watching this channel. So, thank you to whoever sent this down from the Garden State. Because this surprised the hell out of me. And if you sent this, DM me on uh, Instagram. At primitivepathologist underscore. Because I want to say thank you, because I absolutely love this, thought I was going to miss it, and there's still copies available. This will sell out. Get it before it's gone. Stygian Black Hand Productions, Vengeance Horde, self-titled. Seriously? Seriously. 120% if you have some spare money right now go to the Stitch and Black Hand website or Bandcamp and grab a copy and if they have them get the new Left Cross promo I don't have a copy of it but like I still listen to uh, the last one um, it's actually right here uh, Prophecy of Conquest killer shit and I have the full length on vinyl which is actually and this is where normally stuff gets messed up but on vinyl conflict records and we also have the 7 inch I pretty much have all their material except for demo stuff and uh, the new promo but I love this record I love this band it has Scott from Antichrist Siege Machine on drums and uh, the only reason I found out about this band, I got this when they were on tour. This was just something that happened. And Scott just was like, hey, do you have the full length? I was like, nah. He was like, here you go. Like, oh, fucking A, sick. So, yeah, this did not come like this. Vinyl Conflict Records doesn't fuck around. This got messed up on tour. It happens. The 7 inch is great too. Everything Left Cross has ever done is awesome. Black vinyl, 45 RPMs of madness. Great label too. I really love Vinyl Conflict. And like they they have a store also in Richmond, Virginia. Uh, yeah, if you live in that area, my friend Steve Crandall, he has a coffee shop out there. Uh, I think it's Let's, Let's Roast. I think that might be the name of it. I honestly don't remember off the top of my head. But Crandall used to... Um, what's the bike shop there? Peddler Bike Shop or Powers Bike Shop? Ah, man. I'm drawing a blank. But uh, Crandall lives in the old FBM school bus. He's a good dude. But he has his own like uh, little coffee company. I just forget the name of it. But... um. He used to run FBM Bike Company and uh, it's based out of Richmond, Virginia. Richmond's one of those cities that I really personally love. I haven't been there since like 2002 on a cross-country trip. And uh, I really, it was one of those cities that like I instantly kind of fell in love with. I was just like, you know, this place is beautiful and I just had a good vibe there. It had a vibe like Austin, Texas, like San Diego, California. There's certain cities that just have these certain vibes to it. The way that Vengeance Horde just straight up make you want to pick up a sword 
and just stab the nearest, you know, person near you. Not mortally, you know, but just like a little poke. Like, ah! Because it's just so savage, and they had to have cut the pants off of this man. <laughs> it's just, it, it legit looks like a video game character of brutality. And barbarism. It's great. Vengeance Horde on Stygian Blackham Productions. Cassette manufactured in Canada. Iron and Steel and Horned Command. Turn those horns towards hell and worth. It's eight to flames. I have that promo photo always cracks me up. Look at Dave's face. He's like, uh, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. It always makes me laugh. Just like the fucking silly, goofy ghoul with his buck teeth. Always thought that was. That always bothered me. Like, once I noticed it, like the frog in, uh, I think it's Clandestine by uh, Entombed, I could never unsee it. But Vengeance Horde has just straight up, like I said, two tracks of barbaric black death metal. It's awesome. And if you've ever heard Bestial Warlust or, like, you know, Black Witchery, you kind of know what to expect, but it's just a little bit gnarlier than Black Witchery, in my opinion. So definitely check out Vengeance Horde if you're a fan of all things Black Death. I think you'll love it. But as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Hail. <laughs>